Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll tell you how to add block future into your app. The block future allows you to directly add your own block or integrate blocks from third party platforms like WordPress, Blogger, FeedBurner, Tumblr, etc. Let's start. Enter your business name and click on next. As per your business name, the owl will suggest you some specific categories. If you can't find the appropriate category, click on view more categories. Here you will see all the categories. Choose the one that best suits your business. Once done, click on next. Now select an app design as per your choice and click on next. Now let's add the block feature. Click on view all here and search block. Click to add it. Here's your block page name. If you want, you can change it. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid outline icon or image from our library or upload your own custom icon image from this section. Now let's move to this content section. From here, you can add your own custom blog or block from third party platforms such as WordPress, Blogger, Tumblr, and FeedBurner. Now let's add a WordPress block. Click on WordPress icon. Here's your app menu name. If you want, you can change it. This is your app menu icon image. From here, you can change it. You can either select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon image. Now enter the WordPress block URL here. Click on preview to check its functionality and the simulation window. From here, you can delete the block. Click on add more button to add multiple blocks into your app. From here you can delete the block. Now let's add a block from Blogger. Click on Blogger icon to add it. Here's your app menu name. If you want, you can change it. This is your app menu icon image. From here you can change it. Now enter the Blogger URL here. Click on Preview to check its functionality on the simulation window. Click on add more button to add multiple blocks from Blogger. From here you can delete the block. In a similar way you can add blocks from FeedBurner and Tumblr. So far you have added blocks from third party platform. Now let's add a custom block. Click on the icon to add it. Enter your custom block name. Here's the app menu icon image. If you want you can either select an icon from our library or upload your own custom icon image. From here you can delete your custom block. Now let's add a block. Click on add block button. Click on add block post. A pop-up window, add blog post, will appear. Now enter heading of your blog post. Now enter place. Now select blog publishing date and time. Now enter the full story in this section. From here you can change the status of your blog that is active or inactive. If you want, you can make the blog post private by enabling the lock here. From here, you can add images and YouTube videos to your blog. Once done, click on Save to continue. Now let's move to Advanced Settings. Here you will have two sharing options. Share blog post and share blog post content. If you want, you can turn on and off the sharing of your block the way you want. Now let's move to language settings. Here you will see all the alert messages appearing in your block page. If you want you can change them or leave it as it is. 
Next comes page style and color scheme. From here you can change the page background as per your liking. If you want you can select a solid color or image from our library or upload your own custom background image. In custom background image you have the option to use same image for both portrait and landscape mode. However if you want you can upload two separate images. Next comes page layout. From here you can select your desired page layout. Now let's move to advanced element customization. From here you can change page elements, color, font style, font size, and indent as per your needs. If you want to hide date appearing on the blocks, tick mark this checkbox. Once done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching.